Okay, so welcome back to our little stream. Let's get back in the game. Um, as a reminder, two things in case uh, you squandered your skill points and you want to start again uh, to have uh, that 1 million skill points available. Uh, you can follow the link from the description of the video or any other video from my channel to get 1 million points uh, from the referral link and in case uh, you didn't quit the NPC corporation which the game automatically assigns you please do find a low paying tax uh, corporation in case you don't find one you can use mine through Neocom Social Corporation Recruitment tab search this box down here look for UASFC and you will find unsignaled alternative support fleet corp double click apply to join later on you will receive an email uh, <coughs> to invite you in the corporation accept it and you are done okay that being said let's continue with our uh, industrialist producer career agent path let's see where we get from here Okay, we already have to start mining. There's a location. We need to fit a mining module to our ship. Possibly more trips. And this agent makes it pretty obvious. We need to mine the ore at the location we we'll receive and not somewhere else. So this means even if we buy it at the market, maybe it shouldn't work. Doesn't matter, we'll just to go and mine 100 cubic meters of feldspar okay and we'll get a minor one good now let's see in our right ship hangar we still have our merlin and i suppose we'll use this one we just need to fit this miner in one of the available slots we need 100 uh, cubics free and here we have less than 100 ah, let's drop some stuff which we don't need anyway okay now we have little more than 100 cubes free okay we'll use the minor one module of course it's better than the civilian one civilian modules are only for learning at the beginning so don't really need them We have our miner, some modules, enough place in the in the ship uh, cargo hold, so I suppose we can go.
Okay. We arrived at the location from the agent. There we can see a nice uh, asteroid. In your overview, switch to mining tab. And there you can find this asteroid. Let's lock it up. We'll need to use our miner module on it, which activates within 10 kilometers. So we are at five, it's more than enough. Later on in game, in case you will uh, pursue this mining uh, activities, it's better if you keep orbiting your uh, asteroids. So in case a pirate arrives or another player when you are in low sec, you make it a little more difficult uh, for them to catch you, so you can evade. So let's uh, orbit the asteroid. This would be a good thing to get used to. Make it from instinct from now on. Okay, this seems like a nice uh, update to the game. You can see pieces of rock down the minor laser coming to the ship. I suppose they were... Uh, this is... Uh, this came with the last big update a few days ago. It's pretty nice. When you want to check how much did we gather, we can go to our cargo's uh, ship's cargo through this button where you can see the Veldspar or through this button which also follows our cargo. If we right click on it, we can track different cargo holds if we'd have on our ship. We'll see later on on different ships. Uh, we are almost full, so I suppose after this cycle uh, we ha will have our uh, full quantity of Velspar we go can go back to the agent. Okay, our miner cannot work uh, because our cargo hold is full, which we can check. More than a thousand units, so we have more than enough. Let's return to our agent. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Now, for the next mission, we have to make some tritanium which means processing Veldspar. We already mined the Veldspar. We have to reprocess it and give the guy the results. And we get a mining frigate, which is this venture. Okay, 
then let's reprocess ourselves some of the Velspar we just brought I don't think it works while it's in the ship's cargo hold or it does ah what did I do where's the Velspar That's pretty strange. Huh. Okay. Then I need to go out and... Uh, I gave that thousand uh, units to the agent, so we really need to go out and uh, mine some more. Ah, okay. We go out again. got a little confused there that uh, 1000 units they went to the agent from for the previous mission so we are already in the mining tab we just need to look for these asteroid belts and we take them one by one until we find some uh, some Velspar now since we are in high sec uh, we are not really bothered uh, about other players trying to hunt us plus it would be not so uh, not so valuable for them because we are in a very cheap ship with nothing in our cargo hold okay we have some friends already here doing the mining and some carrions and so on okay good for them Let's see if we can find also some Veldspar for us. Ah, there it is. Go to it. Lock it. Okay, we are in range, I suppose. This goes till 10,000 meters. Let's take a little Velspar and uh, run away. What are these people doing here? With these Tyras. So for us to get to 150 units of Tritanium, which comes from Feldspar, by reprocessing 100 units, we will get 400 units of Tritanium. But because our skills are uh, very low, efficiency I think it's 50% so we can get only 200 units of titanium so anyway by using uh, 
100 units of uh, feldspar we'll get 200 units of tritanium which should be enough let's see how much we have at this point 400 okay it's enough for now let's go back to our base and dock Start drive active at the beginning uh, it's a good thing to save the uh, the base where you are uh, doing your uh, missions in case you go in other systems to know where you know to where you need to come back uh, you can find this information always from the mission agent in the details we will see the address where we need to drop off in this case uh, usually also where the agent is or you can simply just save this destination let's save it now in uh, our default folder doesn't matter and we'll say expire never submit and by pressing alt e we can see your locations personal default we saved the address we can have access to it anytime we want okay let's see what our agent has to say about our tritanium which we didn't process yet first let's do that let's process all this reprocess and we will get a thousand tritanium with 50% efficiency okay great now we have 1000 titanium in our um, item hangar let's see if we can take it directly from there yes so we can ask for our next mission Okay, we need to produce two civilian afterburners. The agent is pretty clear, he doesn't care how we can make it. If we mine the asteroids, reprocess and build it, or if we buy them from somewhere else. It would be appreciated if they are at least repackaged first. And exactly this is what we'll do. The civilian afterburners come free on the Ibis, the Corvette. So we'll do just that, I don't think there's a point for us to build them, but still let's see what's the necessary materials to build those, in case we want to build them. Use blueprint, this one, ah, it asks just some titanium, which we have and we need to make two so job runs two still enough titanium and in nine minutes we would have these two civilian um, afterburners so if we press start at the end from here we would uh, deliver our uh, products we should click here somewhere deliver but we'll not waste these nine minutes for this ones we'll just buy them not buy them we have one and we need one more so we need one more ibis fitted with a civilian afterburner and since we don't have any ibis we'll just click board my corvette we'll go to the fitting page take the civilian afterburner from there that's it go in our item hangar we have two civilian afterburners let's repackage it as the guy wanted yes this is already when they are repackaged they can stack together in, um, in our cargo so we have two 
let's see if we can complete the mission yeah it was enough we get some stuff let's request a new mission more titanium destroy some drones and mine the Vespar Okay. Do we have any remaining titanium? We have uh, not so much. Anyway, now we have a bigger ship. We can use it. So let's accept this mission. Keep in mind we'll have also some NPCs to kill so we cannot fit only miners. We need also uh, defense. This is the wonderful venture with which some of you will spend a lot of time with. Get to know it. Now, let's see where are miners. One is on the Medlin, obviously, which you'll have to take it from there. Civilian miner. Uh, why did I thought? Maybe they will give me one later. Okay. We need to take one from the Merlin. There it is. We'll take this one because it mines faster. We could put one more, but I will not take these guns from here, so we'll just go like this with the one miner. It's not a big problem. 800 titanium left. Okay. Do we have any space in our cargo hold? Let's keep... Yeah, 100, it's enough. So we have to make up 7,000 units of Tritanium. This means we need 3,500 units of Velspar. There are some drones. Let's approach and shoot. And then we'll see about the mining. Be careful not to stay on the mining tab because uh, here you will not see any enemy ships. So, general in space, use the general tab pass to mining only when you need to find the asteroids and mine and that's it Ten kilometer range we are in range let's orbit at 5000 ah I took the Merlin, I thought I'll take the... Yeah, I wanted to take the um, Adventure, but I still took the Merlin. Okay, no problem. We'll take the Venture next time. Pass to General, so you can see if somebody's approaching. And check your cargo until you have uh, 3,500 units of uh, Tritanium.
okay one cycle of the miner brought us 460 pieces this means we need six around six more cycles and they will not fit the cargo this means after next cycle we have to anyway to get the venture Okay, we are almost full, so we can uh, interrupt this cycle at maximum half and we will be for sure full by then. Yeah, we are 100% full, let's go to base, leave what we took okay. until now and get back with the venture. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. We have to take this miner because this is what we wanted to do with this uh, Merlin. Okay. Best of the venture. Let's see with the fitting. One of these miners. And we already killed those uh, drones. So we can fit also one of these civilian miners. So we can mine faster. Let's use one of these micro warp drives to move faster outside. I don't think we'll have time to sit in a fight, so we don't really need this uh, field uh, shield. Well, that's about it. Let's run outside and mine. Okay, let's find our asteroids lock. Since we have more asteroids inside, we can use one miner on each asteroid.
This venture is a pretty special ship. It's the only mining uh, ship available to Alpha Counts. Made, uh, you can find it in the ore division. So, as you can see, the only ship available for Alpha Counts. Pretty good characteristics. Um, has a lot of bonuses for mining and also a lot of uh, space in the cargo hold, 5000 cubics. And from what I remember, it has also uh, workhorse stability, two points. Um, I don't know where we'll find this. Ah, in the roll bonus, it has two points to work or strength. So if somebody tries to uh, to scramble our uh, work core, like we did in the previous missions with the pirates, uh, they need to equip. Uh, something to disrupt us with more than two points so in case only one guy attacks you with that maximum two points of uh, disruption you can still escape by warp him off Okay, there's a, there's a few artifacts which are added through this uh, last uh, updates. Some visual stuff happening here while mining. Dust coming out. I don't know if you can see it. And the rocks through the lasers. Oh, yeah, pretty interesting. Good job, CCP. Okay, so we have uh, enough titanium, we can uh, go back to our station. Now, since the agent wants um, us to reprocess our ore, we have to do that. Take it from the mining hole. Mining hole. I think it was called org hold or something. It was. Well, they changed a few, a few things. No worries. Let's reprocess all our wells part. Okay, and let's see if it's enough. Yes, it's enough. Next mission. Okay, transportation. Nothing special, we just pick from 
here some parts where we are and we drop them somewhere else and we'll do just that be careful in those missions to check if you have the necessary uh, stuff in your hole because these agents are not always uh, um, putting the stuff in uh, in your cargo hold they will put it in the item hanger manually you have to move it to your ship we have just enough space so we can use the venture let's go Now we got the destination from our agent and it seems it's over 5 jumps away. So let's demonstrate that autopilot if you press this A here or control S as you can see there's a shortcut. We initiate autopilot and I want to show you when we reach the uh, jump gate how far away we will be from it and how much time the ship will spend in space relatively unprotected so you will understand why it's not cool to use the autopilot figure feature in uh, EVE Online there you go 9 kilometers we are out of warp and 9 kilometers from Stargate and if you are away from your computer look how many seconds are passing until we will warp in all this time if we would be in a lower uh, security status anybody around can kill us without almost any problems so never use um, autopilot better if, if you just uh, fly uh, from uh, Stargate to Stargate uh, manually. <coughs> and since we have a, a route set we will see the stargates we need to go through uh, with the marked with yellow in our uh, overview and again because we used autopilot for this uh, we are pretty far away from the gate I forgot we have this micro drive which will make uh, this distance uh, go way faster So just pick the next target, jump, that's it. it seems like it's a very busy system and uh, you are not jumping almost immediately uh, you just need to stress that jump button a few times until you get the confirmation that you are in line for jumping we'll try this at the next gate
so the moment you are almost out of warp just stress the button in case you are followed or something be sure you don't linger on the gate too much I suppose this is how uh, hauling is being done in it a uh, lot of people are uh, doing this uh, career and there are even big corporations which are hauling stuff for money you can find contracts for this in uh, you can make contracts for this with them in case you become a big producer and you don't want to haul your stuff you can uh, rent these services and we are in the final uh, solar system where you need to be station where we need to dock it's marked with yellow and we just dock Okay, uh, we completed the mission as we deliver those items, but to make the next mission we have to go back to our uh, agent's uh, station to make the formalize the mission contract. So just right click on his uh, station there, set as destination, close this, undock and follow the road back uh, as we came. I'll not insist too much uh, on hauling stuff in EVE uh, it's not necessarily that it's easy or uh, something I'm just not uh, not fond of hauling whatever I need to haul for myself usually I'm doing but I'm not an industrialist so all my haulage is done with normal ships let's say which uh, their main functions are for battle or uh, exploration not the uh, big hauling ships but nonetheless uh, in case that ticks you in a good way you can uh, find something to do in EVE Online by hauling Whenever you jump through these gates, when you are going on a multi-jump uh, uh, road, your next station will be already selected up, so you just need to press this button here. You don't need really to find it in the, in the overview. And if you, um, you want to have an idea where you are, you can press here on the map. Mm, this is the entirety of New Eden. And we are in this high security systems doing our missions here. We'll talk more in depth about the map maybe when we uh, pass to some uh, exploration uh, by ourselves. Just as a simple point, you have a set destination and also you have add waypoint. So if after our mission we want to go somewhere else like here, right click, ah, it's exactly Jita, add waypoint. And you can add as many as you want. They'll appear here 
and also you can remove any of them regardless of the order I can remove this one first so there's another trip for this one and so on Now while traveling uh, many jumps you would uh, like a ship which has a very short uh, alignment time which is the time it gets from standstill or just moving around until warp and I'm sure this venture is uh, not extraordinary it's five and a half seconds almost I'll show you for example a shuttle which is a very small ship just for moving around should be under two seconds that time and each race has it so we are Caldari and the shuttle let's simulate it it's just under two seconds so it, uh, it gets way faster in warp but then again it has a very small structure and you can be very easily killed almost by mistake so it's not always the best choice of traveling let's see what's our next mission we need to create 20 units of cap booster 25 we get the blueprint We'll need this all kind of minerals and he says we should reprocess them from Tanana okay then we can make this okay Let's try to use this blueprint to see exactly what we need. All the blueprints you own will appear here, so we don't necessarily need to use that. Uh, right click there. And he said 20 units per run, we get 10 units, so we need two job runs to get 20 units but we need period and mexalon okay let's try to let's try finding this uh, minerals around and if not we'll buy them but first let's uh, try to find them pyrite if you don't know what's what we'll see we can find it from high sec uh, Minerals, low sec, null sec and wormholes. Of course we'll go in high sec, we try to stay alive. So we look for Scordite and Pyroxeres. And the Maxalon, Pyroxeres and Plagioclas. Okay. So it would be nice if we find the uh, Pyroxeres, which contains both of them. one way of looking for this I think it's through the agency we have resource harvesting asteroid belts uh, we live here any distance is location security status now we prefer high sec 
and it seems we can look exactly for what what we need so we can scroll here after the belts and we can see what's there or look directly for our stuff which was what was it pyroxeris so we can find this pyroxeris in one jump away two jumps away and so on okay one jump away we have pyroxeris in this belt this one this one this one okay all the belts we go on this one set destination let's see how our venture is fitted two miners okay no guns then we'll run if something happens and go We'll look in a few belts, uh, but we'll not lose too much time about it. If we cannot find it, uh, we'll just buy it. Uh, let's see how much we need. Aha, uh -huh, I cannot see now. Or can I? The industry. Yeah, two runs need 84 P8. 26 makes alarm. Ah, it's nothing. And the pyrite, if we find pyroxeres in 100 units reprocessed, we get half of this, yeah, and half of this. So we need 200 units for the enough pyrite to get. Exactly. So if we find 200 units of pyroxeres, it's enough. switch to mining tab and let's go to the asteroid belts Okay, I think even uh, the design of the asteroid belts is changed. Never saw until now in EVE Online such a big rock. Is this a... Yeah, it's an asteroid belt spot. Nice. Okay, let's look for our uh, Pyroxeres. There it is one. Is there one closer? No. Let's just go towards this one fast. And let's lock it when we can. Okay, we are under 10 kilometers, we can mine. I'm really polluting here. I never saw this adventure. All this smoke line I'm leaving behind. That's not cool. People will uh, will say I'm uh, contributing to this uh, global heating issue in uh, even online maybe uh, no matter. Yeah, we forgot our micro drive on and our capacitor it's almost empty luckily we have uh, a tensioning noises from the system i 
I don't think we needed uh, so much of this, so I think it's safe uh, for us to turn back. Let's find out where our agent is. And we go directly there. Set destination. I feel the graphics in this game are uh, as amazing as they requested. were more than 10 years ago I saw I first saw this game and I think it's one of the reasons from time to time I'm still playing it so let's get to our agent see how we are with the mission now we need to produce that okay sir one second first let's take our ore from the hold we need to reprocess it to get this refined minerals now we can use the blueprint two runs and in nine minutes we'll get our our cap booster 25s <coughs> So we cannot really complete this mission as of yet. How are with the skills? We are training archaeology. In the idea that after all this uh, tutorial we'll do some exploration and we'll see how much isk per hour we can obtain and for this we'll need the archaeology some astrometics yes we cannot train too much as an alpha but that's what it is and about hacking i don't know if we'll do for data sites the income is not so great and the volume of the the loot there in the data sites is big so if we do a lot of sites the ship gets uh, full quickly and uh, we'll have to go to a base uh, too often but we'll do a test maybe we'll see anyway it's just three hours i don't think it's a problem let's see how long is the 21 hours for level three we'll see maybe we'll do also hacking but this we'll see later on for the moment we stress on archaeology and we'll do the astrometric acquisition and range finding and I'll explain you when the time comes what they are for. You can find the production in this button with this factory here. And our job, where do we see it? Facilities, jobs. Here we can see our job, which is going. These are the blueprints we own. We are in this facility which can do the stuffs here. Okay. As we wait for uh, our cap booster 25s, then uh, we take a little break, a few minutes, uh, and I'll be right back.
Remember what happened? Remember stepping through the club lights? Did you only turn it up right? She was swept into the songs. You were laughing all along. You even touched your ding dong, right? So tell me what did your face glance when you put your hands in her pants? Or maybe when you hit the guard and beat in that car, kept acting like a rock star. If you act like a douche, of course you'll be a douche, yeah. If you act like a douche, of course you'll be a douche, yeah. Okay, so two minutes left. The idea, um, why am I doing this uh, production? It's just to show you as an example. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in EVE Online never do this. They just uh, buy ships and fight or something else. But being a sandbox, to each his own. Uh, if we wouldn't have industrialists in the game, we would have nothing in game because everything is produced by other people in game. So every ship, every ship component, all the primary sources, which are from uh, asteroids or planets, which we cannot access as alpha accounts the planetary production we need uh, to upgrade to Omega to which you can upgrade through real life money you buy the Plex online or trouble yourself mine enough or do enough exploration you can uh, buy the necessary Plex with the in-game money as I did first time, we find the plex. Let's see. Oh, almost 3 million. You need 500 pieces for a month subscription, so you need a billion and a half, which you can do through exploration at least. And uh, We'll do a test when you finish with all the tutorials to see how much can we make per hour. Until then, let's deliver these cap boosters. They are in our 
item uh, hangar let's go back to the agent and complete the mission uh, request a new one which is a transport objective and we need to transport exactly what we did but for this let's not use the venture because it moves relatively slow let's take back our Merlin let's see how it remained fitted more or less okay we don't really need guns for transportation let's see if we have enough place 20 cubics which I'm sure we have enough there it is, it's in our cargo and since we have already the address there we can just undock and go Okay, so this was a short trip, only over one jump. So in a second we can complete also this mission. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. We delivered goods, so we have to get back to our agent. So until now, as an industrialist producer, we're shown how to mine, how to refine, and how to transport, how to create goods from our uh, minerals. And let's see the last uh, two, three missions, uh, what they have in store for us. Okay, so from time to time from these missions we are getting some modules which just accumulate here in our uh, hangar. Next mission, we have to build something more complicated and it's a shuttle. Don't bother buying it, this needs to be manufactured. I'm pretty sure it's not, but okay, let's see, accept. Let's 
see what we would need just titanium which we have and it's only four minutes okay then we'll uh, we'll make it then why not let's just start the job did he ask for one or two one piece okay oh in four minutes or so we'll have our uh, Caldari shutter and this blueprint <laughs> which now it's in use I don't know how many uses it had which how many job runs available uh, these blueprints with a little faded blue are blueprint copies And these copies uh, have a limited time, uh, a limited uh, amount of uh, runs. An original blueprint, uh, it's, uh, you can create unlimited items from it. Let me show you an original blueprint from the market. Or oh, let's find exactly for this shuttle. Oh, ships, shuttle, Caldari. Caldari shuttle. This is how it looks, and yeah, it's pretty cheap. Obviously, nothing to do much with it. And when it's this fixed price, this means it's being sold by NPCs. Usually, they are sold by NPCs at a round price, and then you could make unlimited Caldari shuttles. But generally, if you don't have the skill trained in that area to be very efficient, it's uh, not really a point to produce stuff. Um, for example, we need this titanium. If it's for us to buy it, it would cost 13,000 plus the time to make it. Let's see with how much we could sell this shuttle somewhere under that price and to lose the amount of time to mine that veldspar to make that titanium to make this you are better off with at least exploration if not something else better if you can find or mission running killing npcs combat sites we will see some point during these tutorials um, because I just started I don't know if uh, we have enough followers from EVE Online if you are playing and you are a new player and if there's a few of you let me know in the chat uh, we'll make some uh, giveaways to help you get started I don't know something like 10 million isk small frigates something so you can uh, play a little easier at the beginning and not be too afraid of losing your ships or your money just let me know Okay, 
our job is uh, finished in the factory let's deliver the merchandise let's check it out in the hangar there it is the shuttle let's contact the agent and complete the mission okay and next would be we need to find this production assistant where is he? fly to the location, mine some more, destroy the pirates ok so we will be a decoy mining, not really mining and we will bring this spy back ok let's accept since we go <coughs> mining we need to have a mining module which we don't have now let's take that minor one if we still have it we have it the rest is for fighting this is ammo okay let's just go there Okay, we have some little asteroids, let's lock one up, start mining, now it's interesting, they put this uh, type of uh, asteroid here, this Kernite, which produces Maxalon and Isogen, this Isogen I think it's pretty valuable, per unit and every 100 units of kernite we get 60 units of isogen ah, ok could be a thing but we will not lose too much time on it let's just wait for the pirates for that we need to pass to the general tab in the overview otherwise we will not be able to see them zoom out I sure hope they show up quickly because we will fill up our uh, cargo hold pretty quickly. Okay, so they appeared, for example, passing to mining tab, no, we can see him, but usually if you have thousands of asteroids around, uh, very close to you, you will not see this ship will be somewhere low, so it's better to sit in general, and let's kill this guy. to proceed with this act ah 
Ah, nice. I'm shooting the asteroid. I didn't see that. So stop the gun. Place it on the pirate and then shoot. And I suppose somewhere in this loot we'll find our uh, our guy. It's not there. Where is he? No, there's a cargo container. There he is. And there's not enough space, obviously. Let's go here and drop something. Jettison will drop it out of space. Let's see if we have enough space now. Still not. We need 3 units and we have only 0.48. Okay. Then we need to drop this care knight. Which we cannot for 2 minutes. No way. Reload this 7.9 Unbelievable. I have only one cubic and I cannot jet this on anything. This guy has three cubics. I cannot believe it. Yeah, we need to jet this on some care night. By clicking shift, you can separate some stocks in your cargo. Let's take eight pieces of that. This will be nine cubes. And we'll try to jet this on it in a minute and 36 seconds. Unbelievable. When you do this mission, if you have the time, just come back and mine all this care night with your venture. Because if you mine it all, you'll get uh, some pretty good disc from here. And in order to be able to come to this position, you just need to save this location, which you can do by pressing Ctrl B, the new location. Uh, saving uh, window appears it has this label doesn't matter just save it and by alt e you can see your locations and you have this spot where you find the care knight and before completing the mission these asteroids will remain here in space come with the venture mine all of it and at the end of the tutorial missions you'll have some plus disc from here let's uh, see how we are with the jettison timing 12 seconds Okay, suppose they passed, yeah, we have enough space now, let's see which one was this one, our assistant. Whatever you get this one in space remains like this as a cargo container, and it was uh, irrelevant for us at this moment, let's just complete the mission.
Okay, mission completed. I got the last mission from this uh, agent. And now he wants a frigate to build. I don't really want to build this Bantam. Rewards will be a badger for it. Let's see if we can just uh, buy it and that's it. These cargo capacity warnings are appearing because the things we need to create are larger than what our current ship uh, can hold, which is irrelevant because we'll create it in this station and just give it to the agent. So just press yes. Let's see what this Bantam would mean to create. One hour and a half. Okay, let's just try and buy it. And um, let's see if it works like that. Right click on it, view market details. Let's find some sellers. Ooh, it's pretty expensive. But we already got some 10 million. Um, by all means, if you want, just go out, mine the necessary minerals, enough to have for this one, and let it one hour and a half run. Do the bantam give it. I'll just uh, try first to buy it from somewhere. So I'm ordering here the sellers see the lowest price is just two jumps away so I'll just buy that and see if it's uh, okay right click on it buy this one piece buy because it's not in our system uh, game masters if we are sure yes I'm sure and now I'll just go out of this ship Leap ship, where is it? Leap ship. So we'll go directly in our capsule. It's not 100% safe, but let's hope in high sec nobody will attack us until there. And let's see where did we buy it. We can uh, find it in personal assets. We are here, so it has to be here. There it is, the Bantam. Right click on this station, set destination. And off we go. One more jump and we are there. Don't make a habit of uh, flying through space with the capsule. Because the only one hit from a ship it's enough to kill us. And if you are not in a high security space, uh, then even by mistake you can die. Especially later in the game when you'll have all kind of uh, implants in your clone. Uh, just traveling in your capsule, it's a big no-no.
Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, let's find our ship. There it is, the Bantam. Let's occupy it. Ugly looking ship. Ugly as hell. Okay. Or I don't like it. And let's bring it to our agent. Who's there? How can we go there? Uh, set destination. Directly. Undock. don't need the bantam in your cargo hold anyway you just need it in the ship hangar of course you could have it in a big transporter uh, cargo hold mm, transporter like the one we'll get now for this mission but uh, it's not necessary to be in a cargo hold of a ship it can be in the ship hangar where we'll put it when we get to the station Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, we are back in our station. Let's leave this ship. And let's repackage it. So it looks like it's brand new, just created. And let's see if our agent will accept it. Yes, he did. Congratulations, what not. Go ahead and read that. Now we got the badger. Let's see. There it is. Industrial ship for transportation. Nice. And with this. Uh, we are pretty much done with the producer industrialist agent we will continue shortly with the entrepreneur and later with the explorer so that's it for now see you later